Hey, Clay. Um, Melissa Roland, Bay Area News Group. Uh, can you kind of walk us through what was going through your head early in the game when you picked up a couple of those fouls, and then in the second mm -hmm. quarter it seemed like you were the one who single-handedly prevented the game from getting more out of hand for the Warriors. Um, just walk us yeah. through all that. I want to say I single-handedly did because a lot of my shots come from my teammates creating, so without them I would not get the looks I do. But I was very frustrated in the first four minutes, picking up three fouls is inexcusable, especially for a player who's been in the league for seven years. It's something I can't do next series. And luckily I got great teammates who held me up and uh, kept me poised throughout the game. But I cannot do that next series. That's a big no-no. And um, learn my lesson. Those guys are great at drawing fouls, but I got to be smarter than that. That really hurt. I hate not being out there when I'm supposed to. Christy Rican from the Associated Press. Whenever y'all felt behind again big, like y'all did last game, how, was, how were you able to um, bounce back again? And what was the thought at halftime when you're down again kind of big? The thought at halftime was how bad we played on the offensive end. Coach Kerr told us that might have been the worst offensive half we've had all year, yet we're only down 11 points. So we were actually encouraged, believe it or not. And uh, we knew we'd have a great shot in the second half. We just stuck together, moved the ball, cut our turnovers down, and uh, make them take tough, tough shots. So we weren't too worried, believe it or not. Our fan base probably was, but it just felt good to slug it out because that was a grinding type of game. Down here in front, uh, John Dickinson, 95-7 the game. Just what can you say about the, the third quarter, and in particular Steph getting rolling as mm. he does so often in the third, and then Kevin Durant kind of carrying you guys down the stretch with some big hoops to, to seal the deal? I mean, those guys are amazing. Um, two of the best shot creators in the league. Just a matter of time before they get going. And Steph hit some huge threes, broke the game open for us. And their defense was great tonight, too. Uh, they were out hustling us in that first half, but I thought in the second half we made the adjustment of boxing out and battling on the boards. You know, if we control the possession game, we usually come out on top, and that's what we did. Clay, Mark Medina, Bay Area News Group. Um, regarding Steph and Kevin, just with the way Houston defended you guys throughout the series, how did you see that dynamic evolve in terms of knowing when to go to Steph, when to go to Kevin? Uh, we're at our best, I think, when we move the ball and then go to them whether it's later in the shot clock or later in the game, if we develop great movement and uh, great, uh, the balls are zipping around, that's when we can, when the fourth quarter comes, you know what, we can throw it into a 6'11 dude who can get a shot over everybody or give it to our point guard who can pull up from anywhere after, you know, we got the defense spread out. Because when everyone touches it and everyone's making shots, the defense spreads, gives them more, more lanes to create and uh, more ability to make a shot. So I'm still... Pissed off and missed two free throws, though. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make them next time. Clay Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Two questions for you. Steve said he didn't even recognize the team at halftime. Why is it when you play like that that you guys don't worry at all? Uh, because we know we can make an 11-point lead evaporate in about two minutes of good basketball. So... Um, Especially with the pace we play when we're on our game, we can get up and down in our defense, too. When we're in passing lanes, creating turnovers, we're the best team in the world running the break. And that's what we, made, that's what we did in the second half. And we were hunting great shots. We weren't settling just for early shot clock, one-on-one. -on -one. We uh, moved the ball well. Steph was hitting off, three, hitting off screens. And KD was doing his thing. And it just gives everybody a lift. And secondly, what is it about this crazy night that makes you most proud? Um, it's our resiliency, you know, uh, it was looking ugly for us for about 30 minutes. We stuck with it and, um, give Houston a ton of credit. They played a great series, man. They, uh, made us work for everything and, um, it sucks what happened to CP. Uh, he just, he deserved better than that, but it's, it's a crappy part of the game with injuries. Um, and he, I know he's a competitor, so it was probably killing him not to be out there. And uh, James Harden almost single-handedly put his team on his back. He, he's asked to do a lot. So uh, I'm just proud of the way we just battled. Um, we've been through a lot as, with this team. And believe it or not, you know, it's all, not all success with the Warriors. You know, we got our bumps throughout the season. But to get to this point again, we earned it. Uh, Clay, uh, to your left. Um, in terms of the challenges that you've had through this run, the four straight finals, where would the Rockets rank and how tough 
has it been just going through this series to this team just to get back to the finals? Man, they're uh, one of the toughest opponents I've played, or we've played. Um, it's hard to rank, but uh, they're definitely up near the top. And I think everyone would agree just their ability to defend and switch threw us for a loop the first couple games, and we had to make a lot of adjustments. And they just uh, they had a lot of guys who were hungry over there, so they weren't giving us anything. And um, it was a tough series, man. It's, I'm happy it's over, and we're on to the next one. Is that it? Great. Thank you. Nice. Well, I'm Scott. I'm